Hi, well, I'm Sullivan. Welcome to my channel. This is my first YouTube video. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know why, but also really excited. So today I'm going to be doing a thrift haul and I have quite a few items to show you. I'm also doing a try on portion. Thrift stores in my area just recently opened up. I went the other week being really cautious, of course. I found a few really good items. I was kind of inspired by Pinterest, of course, Pinterest always, and a little bit more put together items. And also I'm trying to sell on Depop clothing that doesn't work. I'll link my Depop in the description. I've also ordered a few things off of PacSun, so I'll include that in the haul as well. I will go with PacSun items first. The first item that I got is actually this shirt that I'm wearing right now. I really just like the flower pattern and I like the neckline. I think that it's like more of a put together summery item. I got this white top with a little tie in the center and I think that this is just a really good basic to go with the denim shorts or really any pattern pant. It's from the brand LA Hearts. Next up I got this top. It's from Nita Wee and it's just this dark flower pattern meshy material. It's a little bit big on me. It wraps around and ties on the side and again I think that this would look really cute with a pair of denim shorts such as this pair. They're kind of a boy short. They have like this distressing along the bottom. They're a little bit longer which I've been liking recently because then you can actually bend over without these are just really cute and they're really comfy as well. The only thing that I would say is that I'm not a huge fan of the buttons instead of the zipper, but I like them anyways. And then finally, I got this top that's just this little pink tank top and it has quilting along the front and the straps are really stretchy. I think that this would just look cute with black pants, black shorts, and like a button up over the top. Next up, I will start with shirts from the thrift store. First I got this gray zip up. Gives me like Y2K vibes and it just has this teal stripe across the front. It's hooded, which I think was fun. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna wear this. I honestly might sell it on Depop, but the brand is Old Navy. Next up, I got this also Old Navy t-shirt from the little boys section, I think. I think it would make a fun like 4th of July shirt or just like a comfy t-shirt with some denim shorts. I thought that the graphic was fun too. Next, I got this. It just says BMX motocross on it. I think I might crop it or I might just wear it tied in the front with just, again, denim shorts. That's basically my summer uniform this year, I'm gonna guess. And then next I got this, oh, has some hair on it. This t-shirt, which I cropped and I thought it was funny because it says back off, jack off and it has a girl doing karate on it. And then it just says Lucky Mule on the back and it fits really nicely. I just like having a lot of variety in t-shirts for the summer because that's mostly what I find myself coming back to. Next, I got this polo t-shirt. It's in a size six little kids, so it is a little bit tight, but that's also kind of the look. And I really just liked the red and navy combination and also the stripe around the collar. I find a lot of these at the thrift store. I find a lot of polo, but it's always really expensive. Value Village knows what's trending and what's like good quality pieces. So this was $7, I think, which I usually wouldn't buy, but I just thought that it would make for a cute little summer shirt. Next up, I got this tank top. Oh, it's inside out. This tank top, it's tie-dye. Again, a trend right now. I honestly am not a huge fan of tie-dye, but I thought that I should try one thing. This is basically the only thing that I own that is this pattern. This is also super simple to do yourself. I just haven't gotten around to it. And I also cropped this one. And then, oh, I haven't been saying brands. I got this tank top. It's from Hannah Anderson. I'm going back to all of the brands that I used to buy as a kid. And I think it's kind of funny. These have all been in the little girls section. So 
I just thought that the pattern on this was kind of fun. I thought it would look good with like gold jewelry and it's kind of a sophisticated but also like fun pattern. As you'll see in the try on, the bottom part isn't the fit that I would like. We'll see what we can do. I might whip out the sewing machine. Next, I got this black shirt. It has like a peplum at the bottom, which is a style that I haven't really worn a lot of, so I wanted to try it out. I really like the way this one fits. Next, I got this in the little boys section. I went to the men's section to look for sweater vests, and I found one, but I was sad because it was like $13. So then right after that, I went to the boys section and immediately found this, which I like a lot better than the other one. And it's just this dark green like maroon white and navy sweater vest and it's super soft and really comfy and i think it looks really cute with a t-shirt underneath or maybe a collared shirt a lot of this is like sort of a mix of like dad and preppy so maybe like a dad who has a membership at a yacht club that's the vibe that i'm looking for this summer next up i got this the University of Oregon baby tee. Again, it's in a size six. It's really tiny. It hardly fits me, but I'm working on stretching it out and then I'm gonna crop it so it looks better with high-waisted shorts. Repping the school that my friends are going to. I picked up this uniform shirt, I think it is. It's just a white button-up and it has a Peter Pan collar, which I think looks really nice under like sweatshirts with just the collar peeking out through the sweatshirt or even under like the sweater vest. And then finally for shirts, I got this green and white checkered shirt. It's just a really fun pattern and I think it looks really nice with denim with just some like dainty gold jewelry, but unfortunately it has a stain on the back. And then I actually didn't buy this. I found it at my grandparents' house and it reminds me of like something Brandy Melville would sell. It just says Gearheart across the front and it's just a big comfy zip up hoodie. Gearheart is a beach in Oregon. But I've been wearing this a lot. Next up, let's do shorts. First, I got this pair of Coca-Cola brand shorts. They're so tiny, but they're also just cute for lounge wear and I liked the red pockets. The print is really cute and I usually don't find items in this sort of like orange mustard color and I honestly really like it. Next. These aren't shorts, this is a skirt. I got this denim skirt, and I got this in the little girl section, but who is surprised? You can just see the shorts on the back. I don't wear a lot of skirts, so I'm trying to transition my wardrobe through pieces like skirts that are kind of a mix, more comfy than skirts, but not shorts. Next up, I got this pair of denim shorts from PacSun. Well, they're PacSun brand, but I got them at the thrift store. They fit perfectly. They're just this light denim wash and I think they go with everything. And finally, this goes along with the dad vibes. These are really tight. They don't fit the best, but I just like the cargo look. These are from Old Navy and they're a size kids 10, which is why they're tight. But I think that these look really cute with the shoes that I'm gonna show you later, the full dad outfit, but I love it. And honestly, little boys' pants and shorts, if you can fit them for your height, they're very flattering. They do like the high-waisted look and you don't even have to search specifically for high-waisted. I have two pairs of pants. First up, I got these. They're kind of like the Cabela's pants, which I've been looking for for a while. And the brand is Game Hide. So these are a statement for sure. They're definitely hunting gear. But next, I found these navy pants. They are scrubs. And I really like the fit because they're high-waisted, but then they kind of flare out at the bottom and they have this slit in the side so it'll like drape over the shoe and I love that look. Last pair of pants. I got these low-waisted flare pants. They're just black jeans from Union Bay. I've been looking for a good pair of flare pants that are also low-waisted because I really like low-waisted pants. These are just the tiniest bit too big, which I'm sad about, but we'll make it work. Next up, I have some more items from the thrift store, but also I have some items that I got on Depop. I'll do dresses and then I'll do jackets. First, I got this 
plaid kind of baby doll dress. It has a pocket in the front. It looks sort of like overalls, but it's not adjustable and it's a dress. And it just has these cute like copper buttons on the front. It's also very tiny. I'm definitely gonna have to wear shorts under this. It would look really cute with Converse or again, the shoes that I'm gonna show you in a bit. And it just has like a playful dressy look. I just love the pattern too. I'm very into blues as you will have seen from this haul. Next, I think this is probably my favorite item of the whole entire haul. When I found it, I was so happy because this is exactly the style that I've been looking for. This is a dress, it's actually from Zara. It's just this daisy print, super flowy dress. It has this amazing doily collar and it goes all the way around in the back. And it's just such a nice summer dress. Finally for the dresses, this doesn't fit how I hoped, but it's still pretty cool. I got this denim dress from Star Ride and it just has these cutouts of corduroy and the color is corduroy, the pockets. And then on the back, what I really like is just all of these shapes of corduroy along the bottom. It looks similar to something that I was thinking of making. One of the buttons is missing, so I have to fix that. And it's a bit short, but I just thought that this was really unique. I don't know where you would buy this kind of thing, so that's why I love thrifting. You just go in not expecting anything and you find a bunch of fun stuff like this. I got this jacket a few weeks ago. It's like this tan corduroy with flower print on it. I don't love the fit, but the pattern makes up for it. It's from Cleveland Street, New York. The next two jackets are from Depop. I'm kind of stocking up on winter clothes while it's summer because I know that they'll be a little bit discounted. I first got this Giorgio Armani blazer and it was actually priced really well. It does have shoulder pads and it's very oversized, but I just loved the look of it. It's super soft and bendy, which a lot of blazers aren't. And I just thought it would be so nice for the winter time. So I'm definitely gonna be taking this to college with me. The last jacket is this Ralph Lauren leather kind of trench coat blazer. This also was priced really well. As you'll see in the try on, I find a glossy lighter in the pocket but anyways uh this one again is a little big for me and the shoulder pads make it kind of blocky but i honestly love the oversized jacket look it adds a more like masculine touch to like a feminine outfit also i don't buy leather unless it's used it's not creating more demand for leather i also feel a little bit guilty for having bought this but i think it'll last me a long time and it's really good quality and Finally, the one pair of shoes that I got, this pair of leather sandals. I'm obsessed with these. They're from Montego Bay Club. They're like brand new. They were $7 and I just think that they'll go with so much. I think that they could go with nice outfits, but they could also just go with a pair of like, khaki shorts and like a white t-shirt. Definitely white socks underneath. They're definitely something I don't currently have. So I'm excited to see what I can pair them with. I think that's all. Thank you so much for watching. I guess I didn't really introduce myself. I'm Sullivan. I am 17 years old. I live in Oregon. I've always been into YouTube. It gives me most of my food and like fashion inspiration. I've always wanted to start one, but it kind of intimidated me. But what I've realized over quarantine especially is if I don't do it now, when am I going to do it? So. Hopefully it'll go somewhere. Hopefully I'll come up with some fun ideas for videos. And I'm just going to learn as I go along. Click the subscribe button down below and you will see some more of me. Thank you so much for watching. Peace. A first YouTube video in the bag.